Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can create video presentations with yourself on camera using Keynote. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now I often get asked about my videos, how I put myself in the bottom right hand corner of the video while I'm showing stuff on the screen. Most of the time when people want to do this though, they don't want to do screen recording. Now I'm using specialty software for this, but most of the time when people want to do this, they don't necessarily want to show the screen, but they want to show a presentation. Like for instance, you've created a presentation, a keynote that has all sorts of information in it and you want to create a video of that, but with your voice and with your image in a corner presenting the slides. You could do this pretty easily using only Keynote. The functionality is built into it. So let's start off here with a presentation. I've got a demo presentation here and it's just a bunch of different slides. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put myself on the actual slides. So let's say I don't have it here on the first slide. This is just the introduction. But here on the second slide I'm presenting and I want to see myself here. The way to do that is to choose insert and then live video. And then you're going to see yourself using your webcam. So if this is a like a MacBook or an iMac, it's going to use your built-in webcam. On my Mac Studio, I'm using the Apple Studio Displays camera. Anything that you usually use as a webcam should show up here. So you're going to see yourself and you can change the size of this and you can, with it selected, go over to Format in the sidebar here and there's a section called Live Video. You can actually choose if you've got multiple cameras set up. You could scale like this and you could choose a mask. So you don't need to do 16 by 9. Chances are you probably want to do square like this or maybe circle like that. But you could even do custom which is basically a rounded rectangle. So you can increase the corner radius and have it be something like that. You can also have the background removed. So you select this and the background is removed. You could change the background add a color or a gradient or even bring in an image to use as the background here. I'm going to leave it as no color. So it's transparent here. You can actually see how I'm floating over the content. But I could make it something like say a black color here. If I wanted to make sure that I blacked out what was ever behind. You can also go to style and choose different styles here with borders. So I'll just do a line here. Just a white line. Uh, and you can choose a shadow. You can do reflection. You can even make it semi-transparent if you want. So once you get a style that you like you can reposition this. Note if I double click I go back into where I can adjust the zoom like that. And now I can bring this and put it where I want. Let's say I want it in the bottom left hand corner. So you can tell it's actually showing me live here on video. Now this is only on this slide. If I go to the next slide it's not there. So what you're going to want to do is select it and copy and go and paste it on any slide you want. So I'll paste it on the second slide. I'll paste it on the third slide. But it doesn't need to be on every slide. Like say this was a slide where I wanted everybody to focus on what was said and I didn't want to have my image there. I could skip that slide. And I can go to this slide and have me be there. I can go and put it on a different location on this slide. So here I'm going to put myself at the top left. And then I'm going to go back, paste in and it's going to paste into the bottom left there. So you can see I'm in different locations. You can even animate this. If I choose this slide and go to animate and add an effect and say magic move. You could see how it does a regular magic move like it would with any piece of text or shape or image. But it's doing it with this live video element here. So it's actually going to transition. It's going to do the magic move from here to here making me animated on the slide. So now I can practice this. I can hit play and I could see what's going on here. I could start going through and there I am there and I'm on the next slide. This slide. On this slide I'm not there but then I'm back here. I go to this slide. I'm at the top. I go to this slide but you see the transition. The magic move happened. So I can set this all up in advance to show me where I want. Now you could already use this to present. If you're presenting a large room for instance you can have your webcam set to be on you and then your image will actually be up on the big screen as well as your slides. But you can also use this to record. So let's go back to the first slide. I go into play and you can see I can record slideshow. So let's go and record slideshow and what I'm going to see here is 
I see a recording interface. I don't actually see it here on this screen. Let me go and switch. I've got two screens and the second one shows me my presenter display and you can see at the bottom here I've got the recording controls. So I will go in, I'm going to hit the record button and it's going to count me down and now I can make my presentation. So I can go from this slide and it's recording my voice the whole time but now it's recording video as well and it keeps recording video on these slides. It's going to record audio here but no video because I'm not using the video element. Then here it's back, here it's at the top and then it's animating and I'm still talking while it's animating. And then it's going to go on and I haven't placed the live video on any other of these. So I'm just going to hit the stop button and I've now got a recording and what I can do now is I could play back the recording. So now instead of play slideshow I can play recorded slideshow. And I'll actually play back the slideshow and watch it go here in this window. It's recording video as well and it keeps recording video on these slides. And now in addition to that I can also go to File and then Export To and Export To a Movie. And you can select Slideshow Recording or Self Playing. You want to select Recording and it's going to use all the audio and video. And then I'm going to save that out and save it out here to the desktop and it will create the movie. Probably it's going to be longer for a real length thing. But when it's done you're going to get this video file here and I'm going to open that up here using QuickTime Player and there it is and I can play this back. So I can go from this slide and it's recording my voice the whole time but now it's recording video as well and it keeps recording video. And there you go. It's got everything in it. I could scrub through it. There's even the part where and it's, it's moving and I'm still talking while and it's all built into the video. So now I can take this video file here, upload it to YouTube or share it with other people and it not only has my presentation in it but my voice and my video on the slides where I want it. So there are tons of possibilities here. If you ever see the videos on YouTube where somebody is explaining something, well now you can do that too. Build out a presentation, create all the different slides, do all of the different things that you can do in Keynote and then rehearse your presentation and then record it. Recording even allows you to stop the recording and then pick it up or replace a section of it later on. So you don't have to get it all right in one run and then export it as a video and I've got your own explainer video or the presentation that you created for work or school in a format that includes you in the video. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.